So this will be part 5 of our complete application in Axon Framework and today we are going to be working with the, the query package. We are going to be creating the queries uh, and also the the the, the projectors to uh, the file that is, that is going to contain the event, uh, event handlers. So before I continue, I'd like to uh, correct some, some error that uh, I made in the product uh, uh, aggregate. So in the product aggregate, I have a function called update stock. So before now, I named this function update stock. Here I had update stock, but that is not correct. So the name is actually handle. So command handlers uh, are given names, names handle so that uh, they can actually handle command uh, from this aggregate. So now we are going to be working with uh, the uh, working in the query package. So I'm going to come to the query package and create a new file. So this file is going to contain some utilities we need. For instance, the repositories and the queries to get a list of orders and a list of products as well. So I'm going to call this file API. Uh, api.kt so it's going to be a kotlin file so basically i need a class that returns a list of orders so i'm going to call it class uh let me call it get others get others query so it's going to be a query and we also need uh get products get products query as well so we need as well two interfaces that is going to be the repository for the order summary and the product summary so it's going to be interface uh, order summary order summary repository so this is going to extend jpa repository i'm going to get the spelling correctly jpa repository and it's going to be for order summary other summary and the primary key type is string is it string the other summary uh i think it's uuid so let's see uuid okay great so let's see so i'm gonna add the import and this as well okay so we have a second interface and this interface is going to be interface for product summary interface uh, product summary repository is going to extend uh, JPA repository as well and this is going to be product summary and the primary key type is going to be UUID uh, actually for product I think it should be string if I can remember correctly it's, it's going to be string unless I'm gonna import the the, the names the, the class here right so we have this done so we need the projector uh, this is a, a class I call projector uh, for both the product and the I actually explained all this here so the first component we call it product projector is it will contain two event handlers for product added and stock updated events it will also have one query handler to handle the query to retrieve the list of products so let's start with the first one so there is going to be a java class i'm going to call it uh let's start with the other projector so maybe we can start with the uh with the Okay, so I'm going to start with the product uh, product projector. So I'm going to call it product projector. Uh, product projector. All right, this is fine. So this is going to be a component. So I'm going to annotate it with as component annotation. So now in this class, we are we are going to add an event handler to to handle the stock updated event and the uh, 
product added event and we also need a query handler to return a list of product a list of products so let's go ahead to do that so we need to wire in a repository so i need um private final uh we need the repository for the product so i'm going to say products uh re product summary repository i'm calling it repository and i need to add the constructor so let me just add the constructor parameter okay this is fine all right so we need event handler for product added event so uh event handler so what happens here is when a product uh is added we need to save this product summary or uh, this product summary in the repository uh in the persistent store maybe I, for, for now i'm using h2 database and uh, we are going to be using the repository so i'm going to say public again event handlers just like command handlers they are functions that has the name on on uh product added events EVT so what we want to do is to simply get the, the create a new product summary and save it in the repository so I'm simply going to say product summary uh, summary equals new product summary and uh, we have a number of fields for instance evt.getTheID we have evt we also need the price we need the 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 stock and we need the description as well all right so we have this new product created and let me put a semicolon here and then I'm going to simply use the repository to save this product Alright, so just save the product and that is fine. Um, and the next thing I want to do is to add another event handler for for uh, for for, pro, for stock updated events. So I'm going to say add event handler for uh, public void on stock updated events evt. And in this case, we need to 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 get the the the, the, product, the product summary and then uh, modify it and then save it. So this in this case we are doing an update on the on the on the on the product summary. So I'm going to say first we are going to get this product summary and then update it and then save it. Uh, product summary summary. Is equal to repository dot find by ID. Let's find by ID evt dot dot gets ID. Okay, and we need or else uh, we we return null. So in case it doesn't it find it, we are going to return null. So next we need to modify it. So we, I'm going to set the stock to the new stock summary the set uh, stock and we are going to uh, simply subtract uh, minus EBT dot get stock okay I think I'm getting it and this is fine so after making this modification you simply say repository dot save all right okay this is fine um so the next nice event the next nice thing we need now is a query handler to handle uh, to return a list of products now you can actually uh i don't know if i have this in my website but you can actually have the code here in my in, Git, in my github repository you can have all the codes so we need a query handler uh query handler actually is used to return a list of items from the repository or from the read from the repository yeah so i'm going to say public list of product summary 
uh, I'm going to call it list of product summary, summary that's your return type and query handlers also has to be query handler is going to be handle okay. uh, handle um, get products query because you already wrote this query before now uh, query and then we are going to return everything return repository dot find all okay. let me just add the import this class so um, let's see let me just see if I can do it from here so um, okay so I can go from here so import class this is fine and finally I need this to return let's see okay so I think everything should be fine now so the next thing we want to do is to do the same thing so put a semicolon here to do the same thing for other projector so I'm going to create a new file here I'm going to say new Java class is going to be other projector okay so basically the same thing we did but in this case we have it to be a little bit different again this class is going to be a component and coming down here we'll need um, a number of things we need an event gateway uh, because we all need to emit events when an order is created so we need an event gateway so I'm going to say private uh, event gateway event gateway right so uh, and we also need a repository uh, and we will need, we'll need the, 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 the other summary repository because we need to also persist uh, the other summary in, in a database so I'm going to say private uh, private final other, other summary other summary repository uh, repository Alright, so we also need to add the constructor parameter for the two. So I'm going to select the two of them, and this is fine. So we need an event handler to handle uh, other created events. So I'm going to use an event handler, and in this case, it's going to be public void uh, when other created events. Okay, EBT. And in this case, we need to simply save the, the create a new order and then save it. So I'm going to say uh, order summary summary equals new order summary. Okay, so we need the field, so it's going to be EBT dot get uh, order ID. And we need sorry, so EBT dot get order ID, EBT dot get price. I have EBT dot get uh, number, and finally EBT dot get uh, product ID. All right. Um, so why do we have this error here? So um, can't resolve UUID. Uh, so we have an error somewhere. So okay. So let's correct this. So public void on. This is fine. And we have other summary. See. 
So let's see how the summary. Um, so let's 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 just go to check the other summary uh, uh, here. So let's go to our read model here. Go to other summary. <coughs> okay, so we have this required axe constructor. So what I'll what I'll do at this point, I'm going to add a constructor. Uh, manually, I'm going to add a constructor. So I'm going to go to generate and generate constructor using all the fields. So sometimes this happens. I don't really know why it happens this way. So I'm going to go back. First, I'm going to save everything, save all, and go back to the other projector. Uh, going back to the other sum. 